No, this title is not clickbait. PayPal not only banned my account, but also banned me as a person from ever using PayPal ever again for receiving a tip while streaming on twitch.tv. The exact phrase PayPal uses for this type of action is permanently limit, which is just a nice way to say you can't send money, you can't receive money, and all of your information is stored, so you can't even make a personal PayPal account anymore. Now, you may be wondering, how do you know that you got banned for receiving a tip? Is this PayPal's fault, or is it your fault for not reading the policy documents? Is there anything you can do? Well, those are fantastic questions, and I'll dive into all of these questions as I attempt to explain how I got banned by PayPal. First, let's establish the initial setup with PayPal and integrating it into the live streams. Much like every streamer, if someone is generous enough to send in a tip, I want to thank them for that financial support by having text-to-speech messages and cool alerts that everyone on the stream can see. For this functionality, I chose to go with Streamlabs, not only because they have reputable streaming partners like Cutie Cinderella and GM Hikaru, but I've also used them previously for follower alerts and tons of YouTube videos recommend it. Of course, I needed a PayPal account to link to Streamlabs, so I set up a PayPal business account. I chose a business account because this would keep my identity and information away from anyone who'd want to dox me, swap me, or even order pizza to my house. You may not know this, but I'm a fairly private person. I've talked about it in live streams a lot, and that's kind of ironic coming from somebody that posts videos on the internet. But I mean, I don't even use a webcam or anything like that, so I thought setting up a business account would be the best option. I went through the whole process of confirming my identity with PayPal, so if any problems arise, they know who I am, they know how to contact me, and they know that I'm not having them be complicit in any type of fraudulent activities. And that's all I needed to do. My identity was confirmed, I got the alerts set up, all I had to do was wait for a tip, and then everything should go super smooth. Then it happened, I got my first tip. It was for 20 bucks, everything went fine. It was on hold for a little while, but that's how PayPal generally works with tips in any type of transaction. And after a while, access to the money was approved, and I just moved on. I didn't think anything of it. The same day that tip became available in my PayPal balance, I streamed again, and I received another tip for $5. Amazing, right? However, it seems that not all tips are treated equally, at least according to PayPal. The exact same moment I received this tip, PayPal emailed saying that, quote, I can no longer do business with PayPal, end quote. They cited that my account was associated with potential risk and that I will not be able to conduct any further business using their service. Was this a mistake? What was I doing that was risky? I mean, you know who I am. You know what I'm using PayPal for. There are thousands of other streamers, smaller and larger, that use PayPal exactly the same way I do. Why am I being punished? These were just a few of the many questions that I asked myself in the time between I got that email on January 6th and as I'm writing this script right now. Of course, I wanted answers, but more than that, I wanted to know if anyone else was in the same boat as I was. Luckily, I found some people on the PayPal community forums and on Reddit who had the same exact issue. They received a tip and instantly had their accounts permanently limited due to a violation of the acceptable use policy. It's promising that I found a couple people that have the same exact problem as me, but what's more important is that they had a solution. They either called PayPal or got in touch with them on Twitter and their account was reinstated. So I decided to do the same. Like most people under the age of 35, calling someone on the phone terrifies me and I'll only do it as a last resort. So, I slid into PayPal Support's DMs and shot my shot. I explained to them that I was a Twitch streamer, I have a PayPal business account to maintain privacy, my account got limited without any warning, I just want some clarity as to why it's limited, and how can I get it back to good standing? Now, they responded, saying they'll come back to me as soon as possible, and eight hours later, they sent me this. 
I'm not one for leaking Twitter DMs, but PayPal is a massive company. And I felt that paraphrasing their response would not only be disingenuous, but wouldn't fully represent how little clarity or assistance they provided. For those of you who are visually impaired, don't you worry, I'm going to read their response right now. Hey there, I'm sorry you no longer have access to our services. This type of decision isn't something we do lightly, and I can assure you that we fully review all factors of an account before making this type of decision. While I understand you don't agree with the outcome, this is something that would have been fully reviewed and we would be unable to change. If there is a balance in the account, that will be held for up to 180 days to minimize any potential risk of loss due to disputes or chargebacks that may be filed during that period. After 180 days, you'll be notified of your ability to withdraw the balance. If you have any issues then, please let us know. I regret that we're unable to provide the answer you're looking for in this situation and hope you have a good day slash night. If you're having trouble digesting that, you're not alone. According to PayPal, they fully reviewed my account. Because they won't give me any other option, I have to assume a full review includes a real person coming through all my information and all the information of the people who sent tips and the transactions themselves. I don't know how you could do that while simultaneously giving my account a limitation the very moment I got a tip. So not only do they not provide me with any acceptable reason as to why my account was limited, but they expect me to just accept that it is because they say so? I don't think so. I decided to call their helpline to get the information I want and to speak with someone who I know is a human on the other side. After 30 minutes of working with customer service, being put on hold twice, and someone, quote, looking into my information, unquote, they essentially came back with the same thing they said on Twitter. The account has been fully reviewed, there's absolutely nothing they can do, and I can't use PayPal as a sole proprietor or as a private individual as they have all my information stored. This second non-answer isn't enough, so I did some even more digging. The only leg that PayPal has to stand on is that I violated their acceptable use policy. You may have heard that earlier in the video, and of course, I'm a great storyteller, so we're looping back to that. With that being said, I'm not going to bore you with the legalese that's littered in this document, but the only reason I could find as to why my account was limited comes down to that I didn't get pre-approval to accept payments for certain services defined in section 12, live streaming slash broadcasting. I had no idea that it was required for me to get pre-approval to accept tips on stream. Not a single YouTube video that I followed on how to set it up, how to set up a business account, mentioned that at all. But of course, that's besides the point. I believe that an individual shouldn't need to have an advanced law degree to sort through the various acceptable use and privacy policy documents in order to not be taken advantage of by a massive corporation that reported revenue gains of just over 27 billion US dollars in 2022. That's billion with a B, not an M, a B. Alas, a violation of that user policy, no matter how stupid I might think it is, is an acceptable reason why my account would be limited. Why couldn't they just tell me that on Twitter or over the phone? How hard is it to just inform a person that you're punishing of why they're being punished. But that being said though, remember those two users who had their accounts restored by going through customer service? If their accounts were limited for violating the same policy mine was, why do their accounts get to be reinstated and mine doesn't? How is that fair? If there's precedent for reinstating an account that violates the acceptable use policy, it's entirely unjust that I can't use PayPal anymore, and they can. And that's where I am at this moment. I'm stuck in limbo. PayPal won't tell me in exact words what I did wrong. They won't point me to any policy that I am alleged to have violated. And I don't know how to get my account reinstated. The only thing I do know is that in 180 days, your boy's gonna be able to collect the sweet, sweet $23 that I was tipped. Just a little side note, I think it's very funny and very ironic that PayPal is more than comfortable 
creating a permanent limit on my account while simultaneously taking a cut of the money that has been tipped to an account that they see as potentially fraudulent and quote, risky, unquote. With that being said, I filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau in an attempt to get a second look at my account. And I intend to continue contacting customer service to get this addressed. At the end of every video I've made and probably every single one you've seen on YouTube, the creator has asked you to subscribe, like, enable notifications, they put up a graphic, they do all this stuff, I mean, I do it too. But in this one, I won't be doing that. I'm reserving the end of this video to serve as a direct message to PayPal and a call to action. Let's start with a direct message. Hey PayPal, what's the deal, man? There are thousands of streamers and other broadcasters conducting business in the exact same manner I do. They've run into the same violations and have had a similar experience. However, that's where our journey diverges. They've gotten into contact with you and have had their accounts reinstated. I do the same exact thing and was met with vague reasoning for my limitation and no avenue for potential reinstatement. We are very quickly approaching a future where almost every transaction on this earth will be cashless. Whether it be PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, or any other third-party cashless transaction software company, not being able to access one of those will be detrimental. You telling me that I, as a business, as a sole proprietor of a business, you may not believe it, but this YouTube, this Twitch thing, it is a small business owned and operated by myself. You're telling me that because I accepted a tip, a tip anywhere else in the world, it's a jar. Because I accepted a tip digitally, I as an individual will be put at that detriment. I don't think that's fair, and I think it sets a very dangerous precedent for the future. Now, let me be perfectly clear. I would like my account to be re-reviewed. I want to be able to offer PayPal as a payment method to the viewers who are capable of financially supporting me. I'd be willing to retroactively complete the pre-approval process to comply with your acceptable use policy. I will provide you with video evidence of when those transactions were made so you know they're not fraudulent and you know they're not risky. And I'd be willing to give you any documentation you may need on my end to get my account reinstated. All right, that's enough. Let's stop talking directly to PayPal. I've tried to do it before. I'm going to keep doing it, but they don't seem to listen. So this message is for you, the YouTuber, the streamer, any type of broadcaster. If you want to get into streaming, please listen closely. If you want to use PayPal as a method of payment to get tips or donations, whatever you want to call them, please get in touch with PayPal's sales department and get pre-approved. The process that I have undertook to get my account reinstated is a monumental headache, and I'd hate to see any of my colleagues or future colleagues befall the same fate. If you are a streamer, or you have friends that stream, either send them this video or let them know that PayPal will limit their account if they receive a donation or tip without getting the pre-approval process completed. And that's about it. Um, this next part will be completely ad lib off script. Um, I would say I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I mean, I guess you can enjoy it and, you know, find it useful. But I have not enjoyed, you know, going through this whole jumping through hoops thing with PayPal. I mean, it's it's so frustrating that they can't give me any clarity, any information, any reason that, you know, anybody would find acceptable. And then I look around on Reddit, I look at the forums and I see people, you know, getting getting their limitations reversed, which is great. And I'm 
happy that they've been able to successfully get through to PayPal. It's just, it's disheartening that, you know, every time I stream and people, they, they, people want to financially support me. I've had a lot of comments on Twitch saying, Hey, um, why aren't you partnered? Why aren't you, uh, an affiliate? Why can't I subscribe to you? That's a whole other video, but the long and short of that is I don't want you guys seeing ads when you come in. I want it to be a cool experience and ads just ruin it. And I can't control ads at all, uh, pre-roll ads on Twitch. It's just not something that they allow. So I, it, they're like, hey, I mean, if I can't um, subscribe to you, let me let me at least donate. And of course, that's entirely generous and totally unnecessary. But anytime somebody does do it, it's it's an amazing feeling. And and I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, and it's just disheartening knowing that there are some people that PayPal may be their only method of payment. It's the only way that they could financially support me or, you know, like I said, it's it's becoming a entirely cashless society. We're getting very close. We're hurtling like a meteor on a on a doomsday track. And the fact that, you know, one, that I can't use it even as a person. If I wanted to give my dad five dollars for driving me to the airport, I couldn't do that. Um much more so than somebody can't send me money on the internet. That's that's what I find most um, disheartening and and just straight up annoying. Like I, I get why if a business, if you find a business in violation of that, you know that's an entirely different. That that in my eyes, it should be an entirely different scenario. You should not be punishing the individual um, for not looking through a fifteen-page privacy document and then a ten-page acceptable use of policy okay i'm rambling now at this point but anyways I, I i'm sure you can understand where i'm coming from and the frustration of this but um yeah that's that's it um i hope you <laughs> i hope you just to circle back i hope you enjoyed the video again if if you are a streamer or your friends stream or you're in a discord with a streamer that you that you watch um just let them know like you should really go through this pre-approval process because if you do end up getting a tip, even if your friend sends you a tip, it could be like your close friend. He sends you five bucks, like, hey, get pizza tomorrow or whatever. You, they're gonna get they're gonna get their account limited, and they'll maybe they'll be lucky enough that they just have to call once or go through Twitter and it'll be fine, or it ends up like how I have it, and you have no answer from PayPal, and they just refuse to give you any any acceptable reason why so yeah that's that's the end of the video um thanks for listening to me ramble and uh i'll see you guys in the next one bye